Thanks for clicking on my channel, Joy's Way. I'm Joy. If you're new here, welcome. And if you are a returning supporter of mine, welcome back, awesome person. So today, I'm going to show you my Ipsy Plus for November 2021. I have already got into it. I think I'm going to start doing that, actually. <laughs> I put it in upside down. I already got into it, and this right here is the bag for the month. It's okay. I don't know. I mean, I do like some of them more than others, but if we didn't get a bag every month, I wouldn't care. The bag's cool in the beginning, but you just get to a point where you get so many bags, you can't figure out what to use them for, and then when you give them away, nobody wants them. Anyways, I actually decided to be a little smart today, and I already looked up all the prices, so let's go ahead and start with what Ipsy picked for me. So they always send you this little card that is um, an absolute waste of time. It gives you no good information like about the products or whatever. Okay, let's see. Alright, so the first thing that Ipsy chose for me is this Eloise. It is a Glitter Jewels liquid eyeshadow. And it is super pretty. The retail price, or MSRP, I think it's MSRP, is $32. So it's a little pricey. But here is that shadow. It's like a shiny, bronzy, glittery liquid eyeshadow. And, well, going in the giveaway box, I have a couple liquid eyeshadows I kept to try to play with them, but um, I don't need a whole bunch of them. So the second thing that Ipsy picked for me, actually, is this Il Maquillage. Um, it's called Dirty Talk Matte Lip Color. And the, sh oh yeah, in the shade Dirty Talk. It says Ardana. And I have it on my lips today. I like it. It does dry down. Um, it's not completely dries down there's a little transfer right there but it dries down enough and it's creamy like smooth almost like a powder foundation like or not a powder or cream to powder foundation it's almost like that oh so that's what it looks like super cute I like that and then that's what that looks like and you can see I've used it just today actually and the lipstick is $22. So then I picked some sponges and I laughed when I picked them for the price, um, but I needed some new sponges. So when it was an option and you get three of them and they're my favorite color, I was like, hell yeah. So these are $59.97, <laughs> bullshit. But because I need new sponges, I have like three that I use right now and they're just like this two circular ones and then one that um, is soft because it helps around the creases um, I'm gonna throw my other ones out and then I can use these so I'm happy about that but I do not believe that they are $59.97 at all then I picked this Ofra um, it's called sitting pretty and it is a cheek palette and I have that on my face today too. I have both the colors and the shiny. So I think I already have the shiny down in my um, highlighters, but oh well. So there's what that looks like. It does have a mirror, no plastic thingy, but um, these are the colors. And let's see, let me turn it around. If you turn it around, this is Peachy Paradise. This is Soho. Yeah, I have Soho. And then this is Pink Satin. And so what I did is I put the, um, the Peachy Paradise in back, and then I put the um, Pink Satin in front to create my um, cheek look today. And this palette is $35, which is the normal price on Ofra for um, their cheek palettes, because I looked. The last thing that I picked out was this um, Nomad Carry On Eyeshadow Palette, and I'm wearing it. I am. I have wanted a Nomad palette for so long. Um, the only, um, mm, I say um a lot, the only subscription box that I get that I know that hands it out is Ipsy. 
So I've never gotten an option for it before. Like I would even take a whole brown palette, you know, give me a whole palette, a whole palette of nudes and Nomad because I've heard amazing, I mean amazing information about this. So here is what the outside packaging looks like. When you open it, you do not get a mirror, but you do get a plastic thingy. And here are all of the beautiful colors. So today I am wearing this blue, which is um, Bon Voyage, which is that color. And I am wearing this pink, which is mm, London. And then I'm using the yellow shiny, which is, my eyes are getting so bad. I think it's, is Timbal? Probably not. Ooh, it's beautiful. And I really don't like yellow, but I did add it to my look because I wanted to use as many colors in this palette as I could. So I'm going to throw up a picture. So in this picture right here, as you can see, I am doing a neutral look. And with this look, I used my, um, it is called Baby Grand for my base. And then I went in with, um, what is it? Nightcap for um, my corner. And then I used bar 3674, which started off with a really pretty seven in there, stamped by the way, but <coughs> there's that. So that created that look. And then because I was so happy I created that look first, I, I love playing with makeup. And I don't know if you believe me or not, but I can make three, four different looks in a day. If I have absolutely nothing to do, all my stuff is done, I'm bored. Or if my anxiety just won't let me do anything, makeup relaxes me. I really, really enjoy it. So I try. I try my best to play with my makeup as much as I can. So that way I can get use out of it too. But because of that, I have been in like um, this like Christmas mood. And I've heard some of you out there say that you're not in the spirit this year, which I completely understand. Last year I was that way, but this year I think I'm making up for it. So I'm going to throw up another picture. So this picture, I was like singing Christmas songs to myself all night long. So I decided to use this green right here. And this is the um, Grand Salute. So beautiful, so beautiful. And then I used the red, which actually isn't that bad. And it does work a little better with primer. And it is called the Roaring Twenties. Which is so funny because I have a bar close to me in another town called the Roaring Twenties. So those are all the shades that I use. Now I can tell, or you can tell that I've used this. I will swatch it for you, but did you see that I just dropped my plastic thingy? Um, that's what that looks like. And this is called Venice. I'm going to put that down. We're going to put that right here. And I love it, but... I tried playing with it and as pretty as it is and the dual chrome that it has, um, it just fell all over my face as I was trying to, I was going to do it all by itself because I just loved, I just loved how it, the, you know, how it, the shiny, look at how it changes colors. Like, you guys see that? Like I can, I hope so. But anyway, so I wanted to do just, um, a look with just that and I was putting it on and I had so much glitter on my face from it falling that I almost puked and I don't know what it is. I don't know why, but certain things on me irritate me and apparently glitter is one of them. Anyways, though, that palette, I believe I told you it's $29 with a grand total of $177.97. Now, if you watch my um, BoxyCharm video, that was like $136-ish, um, but honestly, I liked that box a lot better than this box. This box was like nothing but makeup heavy, 
but the items that I had in that box just make up for it. I think they're better. Or maybe you could call this a tie, but if I had to choose one, I would choose um, Boxy. If I could choose both, then I'll choose both this month. So I'm not telling about the boxes anymore. Um, right now, I'm just putting all the information down in my description box. So if you're interested and would like to learn a bit, learn a little bit more about Ipsy, go ahead and read my description box. That is all I have for you today. I do hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me. I appreciate every single minute that you come and spend with me. Remember that I do love you. I hope that you have a wonderful day. Remain awesome and peace out. Awesome crew.